And there you heard com communications on the big loop about that soft capture ring. And that is the initial contact that will occur between the Dragon and the spacecraft and the International Space Station, a soft capture with that soft capture ring then retracting and the 12 hooks that will drive and connect and form a hard mate between the spacecraft and the International Space Station. From there, power communications will then be connected up and NASA astronaut Nicole Ayers will make her way into the pressurized mating adapter and get ready for hatch opening procedures, which will require bringing the vestibule, the space between the two hatches, between the International Space Station and Dragon Grace together. And there we see the orbital sunrise making its way over top of the International Space Station as they continue their pursuit of each other now angling over at North America. And there in the center screen, if you look at the topmost, oh, pardon me, the Dragon now perfectly aligned over top of the International Space Station, now looking down at that No-2 Zenith port and a great view just off the bottom portion there. That is the Dragon Endurance spacecraft that it'll be just alongside of. So Dragon has reached waypoint zero and on initial comms earlier that the teams on the ground, once reaching waypoint one, pardon me, have been allowed to bypass that waypoint and now move on to waypoint two, which will be in about nine minutes from now and targeting and docking in about 14 and a half minutes from there. Go, no go poles for docking in about seven minutes as the teams on the ground continuing to monitor Dragon's progress. And once they arrive to waypoint two, there will be a pause, make sure everything is lined up just perfectly before that final approach and docking. Dragon Grace now 25 meters away. Dragon has now reached the waypoint two, 20 meters away from the International Space Station. And will continue its approach to the International Space Station. And there you can see a great view of that zenith port, that space facing port of an the International Space Station's Dragon Out Harmony now Module. Waypoint 2, 20 meters away from the International Space Station. Mm -hmm. Dragon spacecraft right now sitting at waypoint 2, and just 20 meters away to the International Space Station. Houston at Station per Step 4 and Block Bravo. Dragon attitude is as expected. You can see a great view of that Houston copies. Zenith port, that space facing port of an. The International Space Station's Harmony Module. Station Houston on the big loop. Dragon is on final approach and is go yeah, for Dragon docking. Space Monitor for right steps 5 and 6 and 1.102. Station copy is monitoring for steps 5 and 6 and 1.102. Houston at station per step 4 and block Bravo. Dragon attitude is as expected. Houston copy. There you heard it. The uh, final. Steps relayed up to the crew for final approach and Station docking Houston have been on the big given. Loop. Dragon is on final approach and is go for docking. Dragon Monitor Grace, for steps five and six and one decimal one zero two. And the International Space Station. Station copy is monitoring for steps five and six. Now, just before. The spacecraft there reaches is the international the, uh, docking adapter for that soft capture. You'll hear the, uh, up to the crew call out for chop on our crew hands off point. Have been given as we continue to which Dragon will see Dragon Grace continue its journey and Close make that initial connection that soft capture in those final international few space station. SpaceX Dragon, ten meters. 10 meters.
Inside 10 meters, a little less now than 30 feet away is all that separates Dragon Grey. Five meters. Five meters. Two meters, stop. Two meters. Two meters, chop. Two meters, chop. We have chop. One meter. One meter. Two meters, chop. Two meters. Two meters, chop. We have chop. One meter. Dragon contact and soft capture complete. One meter. Dragon copy. Dragon Grace and the Axiom Mission 4 crew have arrived to the International Space Station at 5.31 a.m. Central Time over the North Atlantic as the two orbiting around the Earth, connecting with the Dragon soft capture ring, soft and now we'll begin complete. the uh, ring retraction to bring the two vehicles closer together, and then the 12 hooks, the two sets of six, ring will drive to form a hard night. Dragon Grace and the Axiom Mission 4 crew have arrived to the International Space Station at 5.31 a.m. Central Time. And they're here and there, the soft the capture North ring Atlantic is, is retracting, and we'll do so until sensors are connecting indicating it's time for those hooks to drive in place and give us a hard capture the and firmly uh, secure Dragon to station. To bring the two vehicles closer together, and then the... 12 hooks, the two sets of six will drive in for a hard night. Axiom Mission 4 and its commander Peggy Whitson, pilot Shubhanshu Shukla of ISRO, and mission specialist Slavos Uznanski Vishnievsky. There, here, there, the soft and capture Kibor ring Kapu of is Risa and Junor and have arrived at the International Space Station, indicating it's time for those hooks to drive in place. Contact at 5.31 a.m. Central, 6.31 a.m. Eastern, as the two were orbiting over the North Atlantic. And again, Axiom Mission 4 and its commander Peggy Whitson, pilot Shubhanshu Shukla of ISRO, and mission specialist Slavos Uznanski Vishnievsky, and Tibor Kapu of ISA and Hunor have arrived to the International Space Station with contact at 5.31 a.m. Central, 6.31 a.m. Eastern, as the two were orbiting over the North Atlantic. The soft capture ring, that initial contact between Dragon Grace and the International Space Station continuing to retract. And we'll await for the calls that the sensors read that it will be time for those 12 hooks on the Dragon to then begin driving and connecting itself to form a hard mate to the International Space Station. <laughs> 